Hello and welcome back to 20 to 35 years of Final Fantasy, what, whatever this is, Claire. I, I, the range is just expanding. Welcome back to 50 years of Let's Play Final Fantasy, <laughs> the games. Back to an eternity. <laughs> this is Final Fantasy Tech. My name is Ryan. <laughs> Uh, my name is Claire, as I said. Yeah. Um, we've got like so much news and things to talk about that are Final Fantasy Tactics related. Because um, one thing that you're saying, perfectly saying, normal friend, uh, good friend Claire did in the intervening week was played 18 to 19 hours of Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions outside of the LP. And so I have been doing some additional gaming. Shameful. Shameful. Shame. 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 Shame gaming. Shame gaming. And as a result, uh, though I had been reluctant in the past to engage with the strategic discussions in the thread, and I really still haven't done that, but I have like some new understandings, I think, and some plans and plots. And feelings that I will inevitably talk about. But to reiterate, all this labor happened outside of this file in this game. This <laughs> game has had no additional play oh, yeah. since the last. No, this episode. I'm I'm playing this on my my PlayStation Portable Vita, which is forgot you had a Vita. which is the thing that I have. Mm -hmm. So, also one thing that I'm going to eternally get confused is the swapping of the X and circle buttons. But I will do my best. Uh, <laughs> Beck was a thief, but I don't think that he had anything except guilt taking. You, I think he was leveling up thief to unlock a class or something. Yeah, we we were on the path, but here's what I want to do. Um, there, after playing on my own for a while, I have determined that Squire and Chemist have some of the most crucial skills, and I would like to get some of those skills including Accumulate, um, which I do think is probably like one of the best skills in the whole game, because every single turn that your character is unable to do something, they can just get like 30 to 40 free JP. That seems like a lot. And increase their attack power. You sure about that JP number? It's if you have a JP up equipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I normally do. I'm still debating sometimes about when to take that off. So lately what I've been doing is leaving um, JP up on when I've been going through random battles and swapping it out for something useful like equip armor um, or something. It comes to like a plot fight. Yeah. Um, just because that can be harder, so. Yeah. For sure. Uh, we were definitely getting my, on the skin of our teeth on the last couple of fights of the last session, so. Yeah, uh, hold on. I'm I'm ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck shit up. Okay. I got plans. You heard it here first. Claire is going to, is planning is to plan fuck shit up. <laughs> planning. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll just keep some hell out of you real quick. Why you? So then I'm just giving them some you know garbage things. And our good friend Merlin has no counterattack abilities at mm -hmm. all. Unfortunate. Who you got, friend? The weapon guard. That seems okay. Um, Someone finally explained to us how um, everyone gets JP for their off jobs when they need JP. Yes, which and that, I didn't understand. That was extraordinarily helpful, and I've been noticing that um, happen in my other game. So, okay, so here's the goal. Um, I wonder if they added some. Uh, heal, salve, and four lines, and accumulate, which is focus. This is the coolest thing ever. Um, whoever mentioned this, and I think it's probably more than one person, it's so good because it raises the physical attack power for the duration of the fight, and you get full JP for doing that. So it's really, really good. And it can't fail, you can't miss. Can't miss, there's no miss chance. I also think heal is actually underrated, um, especially when you get like annoying enemies who will, I don't know, try to satisfy you. But I think we're pretty far away, so I need, I want everybody to have that, because I feel like it is very important. Oh, Ryan was just telling me about this. Oh, that's that. Which one were you just telling me about? I don't remember. Was it yell? It might have been. I don't know why it says speed, but we're talking about increasing brave long term. But this well, He might not have it yet. He might get more of those abilities. Yeah, this might be a different thing, so. Okay. 
So we have a ways to go, but that's what I want to do. And also, I think especially early game, I want to get auto potion. Which, have, has anybody talked about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being useful? Because yeah, I think it's pretty have. useful. It just costs you money, so you have to kind of farm up potions. At a certain point, I think it is like totally not um, an obstacle at all. Potions are so I think just right now, it would drain our finances pretty significantly. Yeah, and I don't think we'll have it for a while anyway. So. True. It, what is it, 400 JP? It's a lot. Yeah. So, so our next goal, we're up Lenalia, Bohan, and up to Fort Deacon. Have we done the Lenalia Plateau fight yet? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do you know why it's, I was just blinking? Because so, you can't tell, but the one the Lenalia Plateau marker is green, the one uh, after it is green, and then the one following that is red or orange. Oh shit, okay, we're going to get our asses kicked in this fight, probably. You might be right. Do we um, need to farm? I think we're going to do a little farming, everybody. Just what That's everybody it. wanted us to do. <laughs> Welcome back. They're going to blame me because I suggested it. No, I, I don't know what along with it. You should blame me. There it is. So the biggest thing, though... Blame yourself. Or God. Or God. I do miss that line in, uh, you know, the other game. What's that game called? You know that other game? <laughs> uh, God. Gex. It would be one of my, like, truest wishes for myself as a human being is that I can actually express... I ideas verbally without like some sort of like I have like an actual I don't know why it doesn't work most of the time but um so Ren I don't know if you were ever planning or if you thought that we would ever revisit War of the Lions or maybe that might be more Choco territory that sounds like Choco territory because I would love Choco to hear your take on this but one of the also it's nice to see this on a big screen instead of my fancy screen Oh yeah, because you're playing Vita. Mm -hmm. Does does the crossplay not work the other way, where you can help put the Vita to PS4? I think you can. I've just never done it before. I haven't investigated. Oh, this also reminds me. One of the ad so there's a couple things that are different as far as I can ascertain between this version and the War of the Lions versions. Um, the oh that button's different. Being one of them, one of the one of the worst and most unpardonable sins of War of the Lions is that every single special attack in the entire game causes massive slowdown. So anytime, <laughs> anytime a dog does its poison nail, it's like... <laughs> it's, it's fucking awful. Do you think that's a consequence of it just oh. being War of the Lions, or is it... Um... Wait, why the fuck did I bring Sullivan? I fucked everything why up. Why did you do that? I got him confused with the other one. Oh, so <laughs> See, I I just told Ryan before we started that I was gonna I was gonna kick Sullivan out of this. Yeah, you clearly wanted to dismiss Sullivan and Emily. Yeah, and, and watch me watch me have brought him. And I said no, don't because we need them because we need to show off someone leaving based on high well, faith and someone that, leaving based on low grade. Well, that was the fucking exactly time. Two useless idiots. Guess what? Sullivan's gonna fucking die. Wait, why? Who's gonna murder him? But that's not that's not that's not using the. the, the what, what I'm talking about. Oh, you mean waiting for him to, yeah, like, the, his stats? The brave away? release and the faith release. I, but how does he become less brave over time? He has to get it re removed, the bravery. <laughs> Someone yeah, told us that it's gotcha. possible. I don't remember how. I mean... Sorry. Yeah. Anyway... Here, here it comes. Okay, yeah, hit me up. I'm, I'm Googling. Ooh, look at this. Can you do something? God, we're so advanced with, with magic and... You're so advanced. Oh, Jesus. Let's stay. Let's stay. All right. FFT. Just each other up. God, it's... Oh. Two. Ryan, you have no idea the, like, pure joy I experience when this game plays smoothly. It is nice. This makes me want to, like... This is just the power of the PlayStation Triple. Y'all... There might be a version of... Wow! It's like... It's like everything's going in hyperspeed. It's... It is amazing. My mind is being blown right now. I can't believe you tolerated it this way. Well, it becomes a matter of, you know, a matter of course after a while. And, uh, well, anyway, so that was, that was piece number one. Um, one of the more mundane... I love that I've countered all these jerks, too. Um, Ryan. Yes. One of the other items that is different is that the level requirements for the jobs... Uh, are frequently higher in War of the Lions. So, for instance, you might need Archer 4. In this one, you need Archer 5. 
is the XP scaling the same? So it just straight up takes longer? Yeah, or is I think the XP so. scaling higher so that it. Look, Sullivan it. fucking died. Buy Sullivan. So, ways to reduce Brave, and I assume that you could do this to your friendly uh, units. Mm -hmm. Threaten, which is a talk skill. Okay. I don't know who skills that. Y uh, Foxbird, which is yin yang magic, which are, is that a. Uh, Foxbird. Is it, yin yang magic, is that a. Uh, uh, that's. Or, 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 or. I think it's our. Okay. That, that, that gives a minus 30 break. Really. So. Okay. Um, and then wow. Chicken, which is a magic sword, oh, uh, gives minus 50 break. Wait, there's a magic sword called Chicken? Apparently. What is this 18 bullshit? Oh, thank you, Nina. Keep through for me on that one. <laughs> Nina's like, I don't know. Hell what yeah. are you talking about? Um, so, Ryan, in addition, yeah. in addition to level caps, though, the, yes, wreck them. Uh, the, the, the cost for skills is also higher. Ooh. I don't know how much or how extensive that is, but that at least is what I had read. And you're not selling it on more than once. Everything I, is more expensive, everything <laughs> takes longer. Like, it's just awful. Um, I actually, no, I've really, really been liking it. I think probably the chief reason that you, wow, the chief reason that you would play it is because um, the script is, is, is completely rewritten and redone. And I... From what I understand, um, the script is fairly controversial in terms of whether or not people actually think it's an improvement on this one. Um, I think uh, it's pretty undeniable that the greatest flaw in the PlayStation version of the script is its off times um, incomprehensibility. And like it's it, it, in a game that has like kind of a an advanced, deep political plot. The specificities of what you know, who's doing what to whom and why, especially even just down to the, the naming conventions. For instance, doesn't this game call uh, Larg and Goltana princes? Yes, I think so. That could not obscure the point of the plot more, because the whole point is specifically that neither of them are in fact princes, <laughs> and thus have different means to taking control of the throne. Um, like, if they were princes, this would be a very different situation. They would need to kidnap the princess in order to have her as some sort of, you know, leverage on the throne. Yeah. So, um, but they definitely took more of a, like, I don't know, what would you call this, conversational tone in this one? Like, it feels yeah. more mundane, modern. When people are actually talking, for the most part, it does sound like what people would actually say. They, it seems to me that they've written War of the Lions in, I think they're going for like a Shakespearean, like early modern English kind of thing. Uh, and sometimes I don't think it works, but other times I think it actually works very well. And I think the number of lines that are quite eloquent um, kind of dwarf the number of lines that are a little bit, you know, come out a little bit strangely. Like, you get, you get, uh, I think my biggest criticism is that um, uh, they change a lot of the names. I think they're trying to be, like, more, like, genuine transliterations, mm -hmm. but instead of, like, rat seller, it's like, I don't even know how to say it, like, ma mouse siege or something like that. Like, I'm guessing it's, like, an actual term for a rodent's burrow, maybe, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it, like, does not roll off the tongue, and it does not sound fun or cool, um, whereas rat seller has a cool ring to it. As you said last time, it's the most beautiful phrase in the English language. Didn't, didn't they change it to um, <laughs> mouse, though, in the actual level? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. mouse basement or something. <laughs> mouse basement. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I can't remember what the level said, but it was noticeably not what anyone said. Mouse basement. Cutscenes. God, I wish. It it's been mouse basement. <laughs> That's glorious. Um, <laughs> but they do that with absolutely everything. And um, sometimes I don't... I think it really doesn't work. Like, Especially most of the time because I can't pronounce the words. <laughs> because I think they're words either that are uh, very obscure or like foreign borrowings, a sick end on the counter. Like You saved some of them. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Great. And I left one of my my dudes completely out of the fight. Great job, Claire. Yay. Um, but instead of like Sweetie Woods, it's like the C 
sea, it's like a siege wheel or something like oh, that. Okay. And stuff like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sort of Chaucer type stuff. Yeah, but I don't think like it's... Like, no a, one calls anything a wheel anymore. I don't even... No, exactly. A, a wheel is just a wood. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But it, it doesn't it doesn't ring no. right. I mean, like, I if you're going to go early modern English, call it something that sounds more early modern, not... Like, you just suddenly... I mean, I guess it could have an inheritance from them. Anyway. What are we spending money on? We're going to get some new swords for people, boys. Okay. Um, but really, my primary goal right now... And I'm really sorry, everyone. <laughs> I was just going to be like, you're just going to have to deal with it. But um, let's go get some swords and, you know... See if I was just this guy, you know? Um, I was going to say something else. Oh. They change a lot of the character names also or at least some of them uh some of them just adding like woo nice nice I'm not sure why battle axe was better for him but mithril sword was better for Ramza wait that is confusing can someone explain better what just happened to me cool alright really I'm confused by this really baffled by what's happening okay hold on really Right, I'm really sorry this to, is a scam. to disappoint you, but just to like avoid destroying my own sanity, it just means that we're gonna have to hire people later for this. No, we won't. Yeah, we're gonna get story people. And, yeah, I'm sure Sullivan. We were never friends. You piece of shit. We're not gonna let story people go by bravery and faith. Oh no, I I have never seen that happen. I think you. That's why we want to do it. That's but I think you have to work so hard in order. We could probably get it done in one battle. Well, we can hire somebody later then. I don't want to. Go yeah, that far. I mean that's what I'm saying. Is that what right point? now, I just they look the same, so I don't want to keep getting them confused. Okay. I also would really like to know. Okay, so look, we're all squires here, right? <laughs> Listen, now we're all squires. <laughs> we're all squires. Just be honest with each other. Yeah. So okay. So here's here's you can't this. Use that lines. Why? I don't know. Why though? Look at the battle. Can't know. Two hands only is because he has a shield. Oh, he's a shield boy. Wait, does he have a shield? It doesn't look like he has a shield right now. No, he doesn't. I don't understand. Wait, let's try this. Okay, why can't I equip it? What? What is your? What is your reasoning? <laughs> he seems to qualify. <laughs> this is a new and unforeseen problem. Why? Wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Look at this preview. Uh huh. Plus three, minus five. What does that mean? I don't know. I think the former number is its. Yeah, uh, like attack damage? I just wonder if, if it thinks that Battle Axe is not actually optimal. That he could. Oh, no, it's no, sprayed it's out, sprayed out yeah. entirely. I don't understand. I don't understand. Hang on. Can you Google this? Why me? can't Ramza use what kind of axe? A Battle Axe. It's a straight up Battle Axe. Best. What? Why are we hitting... I mean, Mythical Sword seems pretty dope, honestly. Also, Battle Axe is like a Squire thing. I don't know. I think... Realms of Squire equip issues. Yeah, hit me up with that. So I'm trying to master Squire abilities. When I go to equip Realms of... I can't use a two-handed axe on it. Is there a reason why? I'm so glad that there's a... So, Realms of Squire is a tad different. He can equip Knight Swords with it, but his Squire can't equip axes. So his squire, even though it says squire and looks like squire, is actually Rums a squire, not the <laughs> squire job that everyone else has. Rums a squire. Yeah, Rums cannot okay. equip axes naturally. Okay, cool. Well, guess what? Everybody else gets an axe, and the second line of that response is, "But why would you want to? The range of damage makes them very bad weapons." Well, now that everybody has them, <laughs> <laughs> this is a lull random the party. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, and if sure. we need to, we'll buy him some swords and stuff. Sure. You know what? Sure. You just gotta get into it. We're getting into the groove of Final Fantasy. We're getting into the now. X groove. Yeah. The X groove. Oh, I bumped it. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure that, like, nothing bad was happening. Nothing awful. Hey, look at that. We're recording. Almost an entire episode where almost nothing has happened. Classic, guys. Welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics and welcome to GFG. <laughs> this is kind of who we are. Please love us forever. Because we certainly love you. <sighs> I have so many thoughts about this plot, but we can't. I can only go so far. Hey, don't spoil me, please. I don't. Well, I probably went on 
understand you if you told me. Sure. Too complicated. Too complicated. Well, we can try and recap what has happened up to this point. Someone did a great job of that in the thread. Wow, there's a great Would you like to pull it up and please read it for us? Would you do that? I, I can. One more. While we're fighting this giant dragon? Just one more. Just one. We'll see all these stupid axes totally disappoint me and I wasted all my money. Yeah, I mean, probably. Story of my life, honestly. Money is not on, actually. I think last time I said that it was hard to get money, but um, I was totally wrong, and that was a lie, and money is easy to get in this game. Here's how long it's been since I loaded the thread on my iPad. I'm on uh, Final Fantasy VI, Episode 90. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, cool. So wow. clearly, during the entirety of Final Fantasy VII, I didn't once look at the thread <laughs> while we were recording. Roger that. Because okay. that's the only context uh, where this happened. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Eat shit, eat rocks. You and JP. Lots of job of stuff, which we appreciate. Me. What's that? Lots of job stuff. People giving us their jobs. Remove stuff, handmaid's tail, reflect. Oh, that's right. Oh, that was 93 hit points. I see ya. I see ya. Has the dragon done anything cool? No, he's see. I mean, well, first of all, I mean, like, does he need to do anything else than what he's doing right now? I mean, he, look at just try to look at look at this boogie. He's got some thunder vibes. Tell you what. Why can't his tail get longer? This what dragon, I really don't want to kill him. I love him. <sighs> I'm actually getting a little sad. I have like other things I can tell you about too that you may or may not want to hear about. What do you mean? Oh, Girls Rock was. Uh, girl, girl. Uh, sorry, Girls Rock was this week. Yes. And it was really wonderful, and I had a lot of. I had a very emotional week. Because of the kids' emotions. Just for a lot of reasons, it's a really wonderful environment, and. I don't know, it's just a really nice place to be and the kids the, the kids and campers are incredible, the stuff they made was incredible, the people working there are incredible. It's honestly like one of the few spaces and I've really felt like in a long time where like I just don't have to think about being trans either at all and it felt really nice to be there in that space. My bands were the bands that I managed were really cool. Yeah. One of them was like, a, they were like a jam. It was like, um, it really, it like, really gets stuck in your head. Would you like me to sing part of it for you? Sure. Hit me. Okay. It goes like this. People, little do you know that you're equal. We should be treated the same. Life is a game. And we play it fairly. And then it, the drums come in and it goes, People, little do we know that, or little do you know that we're equal. We should be treated the same. Life is a game. And it has like choruses and stuff. Oh, hey, here's the axes. But anyway, those campers were like 10 years old and they were like a fucking banger. It was more like a, like, you know, uh, less a banger, more like, you know, uh, raise your a little fire a club banger. <laughs> like, like, little, little uh, fire, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I also really wish you could take back things that I just did, like, because I'm very impulsive. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics player, so I'm just going to set myself oh, on fire real quick. Sense. No, not that. So much as me moving into the into the path of my own flames. Oh, oh rip. I see. Whatever, this bird's going down. Thank you for looking up the plot. Because I think I'm I have a sense. I think I, the post is long. I I don't know. That's okay. I, I I think I can fill in the gaps. But if you give us the basics, I think I can I can hook us up. Yeah, these actually suck. This is a mistake. Thanks for whoever warned us, and I apologize that I didn't heed your advice. Thanks, game FAQ user. Oh, piece of crip crap. Yeah, these actually. Are you a crip? <laughs> We, I thought we agreed to talk about that. <laughs> Set yourself on fire and don't even kill the dog. That is how you play if you are Claire. 
chime in in the comments and let us know if you're crit or blood. Hey, look, the bird healed us. Nice. Good job. Look at that sick cho chocobo exploit I discovered. Yeah, hit me. Oh, weapon guard. Oh, because it's an AOE healing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ba boom ba boom ba boom. Should have been easier, and I was just getting distracted because I've been talking about stuff. I've been just like so emotional, and Ryan. Oh no, it's so long. <laughs> no way. Can you skip it for me? Hit me up. Uh, oh. Fantasy Russia or Dahlia. Uh, the king of that died without. Oh, I don't need to know about that. The background. King of Ivalis, which is Fantasy Europe. Okay. Declared themselves kings of Russia. Um, the Ammonia, which is Fantasy Poland. Okay, uh, I'm not, okay. Da, 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 I haven't really, kind of between them. Which is also weird. I haven't really thought about it like that before. It, it's also like it's exactly the same as in Final Fantasy XII. There's two gigantic empires and dumbass because the little Poland in between them. Right. I do think it's important to remember that in for Final Fantasy Tactics, while well, this all of those events set the stage here and they do become relevant, the actual, and especially for the prologue, the actual titular Lion War um, is something else, and is, it has less to do with any interactions between nations, and it's more of a civil war, I mean, from my understanding. Yeah, their summary, I guess, remember, was just for the stuff that that rumor was saying. Up to this point? Yeah, the, the rumor for like the, the background, the one that was super long that we read. Oh, yeah.